Hey guys, GalaxyCode23 back again with another video. Now this is going to be kind of a Blu-ray DVD uh, kind of ca uh, catch-up kind of collection video because I wanted to because what I usually do is do one kind of two updates a month, kind of one the first half of the month and the second half. But I had so much stuff last time that I kind of did it on the first first few days of May. So I thought I'd kind of like, like, just kind of catch up because otherwise I'm going to be kind of it's going to be like the like the the middle of the first half of June, then it's going to be just going to be all discombobulated. So I thought I'd just do like a catch up one now. Um, yeah, I've got, uh, not got too much stuff, but I'll get right into it with the DVDs first. Uh, first up, we have uh, Side by Side, and you might have seen this in my um, Amazon um, unboxing video. I saw it at cinema when it came at, uh, well, when it was at my cinema. Uh, really good uh, documentary about um, kind of the Kind of the differences between um, celluloid film and digital filmmaking, really, really good. It's basically a, like a must-watch for any kind of filmmaker, really. Uh, next up is um, a film called F. Um, this is like kind of a kind of a invasion horror thriller kind of thing. A British film, but it's kind of it's kind of like a them, you know, that French film, but kind of set in a English school. And uh, it's all right, but I thought it was only a quid from the pound shop. So I thought I'd get it as a pretty good uh, picture on that if you can see it of a girl with a jaw ripped off. Now I don't know what if that was in real life. Would it be more like would it be more like the jaw hanging off, or would it be more like hatchet with the kind of with the the, the top of the head coming off? What what would happen but anyway? Uh, next up is a. Uh, Again from Pound Shop, a Little Britain C, uh, series two. Now I do have the uh, the regular Amore uh, version of this, but I wanted the uh, I didn't actually know it came it came in a digipack version, but I prefer this version. And I had oops, dropped that on the floor. And um, yeah, let's leave this there. I um, yeah, because I have the first series in the digipack version as well. I don't know if the third series does, but I didn't know this did, so I want to kind of have I can get it in uh, one. Uh, you know, kind of the same versions. Uh, it's a, bit, it's a film called is it Blade? Yeah, Blade of Kings, uh, starring uh, Jackie Chan, Donnie Yen. Uh, it just basically, I uh, it looked the kind of the plot of the film looked good, and um, I want to I want to own more kind of like kung fu films. It's kind of in the same vein as Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and uh, again a martial arts film, uh, Jet Li Emperor, uh, Emperor and the White Snake. Uh, mainly, I kind of got this quite a bit for like the really nice gold lettering on the front there, and it looked pretty good. Again, in the same kind of vein as a uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. But anyway, and again, my unboxing video: a uh, slice and dice, the slasher film forever. I uh, watched this the other day. It was, it was it was all right. It's nothing kind of. It's nothing new that you haven't seen in other kind of slasher horror film documentaries, really. But uh, it was it was a good watch. Some good uh, interviews with like Corey Feldman. Uh, uh, Felissa Rose, uh, Adam Green, so pretty good interviews on there. Next up is uh, Fresh, one of, uh, one of my favourite TV shows, Fresh Prince of Bel Air season one. Now I believe this is a kind of a repackaged because I think the regular ones are like a digipack version. This is just you know discs in a tray. But anyway, I watched this uh, within like three days. I just love kind of going back to the old, to the old Fresh Prince and. All the next ones are DVDs, again from a boxing video, a uh, one hour photo. I haven't watched this on Blu-ray yet, but um, I will, I might do this weekend actually. So I need to watch more of my Blu-rays that I watched yet really. So it's one a really good film that though. Uh, again, a boxing video, uh, Mission to Lars, I haven't watched this yet. Again, it's about a um, kind of a documentary road movie about this. About this guy who has um, Kind of like a really aggressive form of autism. What's it called? Uh, fragile X syndrome. And his and his uh, dream is to meet um, Al Lars Ulrich. So they're kind of going on a road movie to go try and meet him. So that'd be a pretty good watch, I reckon. Next uh, up uh, is Fringe, uh, complete fifth and final season. Now again, I don't know if I'm going to kind of maybe do a kind of a marathon from season one all the way, all the way. But I don't. Know, I might kind of because I've. Watched, kind of started watching the. Uh, I got to about the middle of se season four before I stopped watching it. So I might just start from the beginning of season four and do season four and five. But anyway, really good show, that one of my favourites. And 
Now, this is a pickup I was very lucky to get. I got this for eight quid from uh, a place you wouldn't normally uh, kind of associate with uh, Blu rays, a uh, game. So, uh, again, seven ninety nine. you cannot go wrong. It's a pretty new release as well. It's um, Evil Dead 2, the new uh, Studio Canal uh, re release. Is it the 25th anniversary or something? Or some kind of anniversary anyway. Uh, with some good new features on this, uh, new documentaries and such, and uh, featurettes. Now I already have the uh, DVD. I kind of do a little bit prefer um, that artwork to the one on the Blu-ray disc, but anyway, it's still pretty good. That's Evil Dead 2. Uh, I believe it's Dead by Dawn. Uh, next up is a, uh, a film, kind of a comedy film that a lot of people talk about that I've never seen. Uh, it's a Christmas movie, so I thought I'd want to get a Christmas movie in the middle of May. So yeah, uh, it's a National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Again, I've never seen. I've seen kind of clips of it on what it's been on television, but I've never seen it from beginning to end. So I haven't actually seen any of the uh, the other Vacation films, Chevy Chase films. So we good to we good to watch that. And these next couple uh, last ones are from a uh, uh, Granger Games. A kind of it's kind of like game, but kind of. Well, it is more or less exactly the same as game, but the prices are a lot better. And it's got this for a four quid. It is a Shutter Island. So I was going to kind of plump for the uh, steel book, but I don't think I'll bother. I mean, it's a nice steel book, but I don't think I'll bother. I've got the, it's the Amore version. A uh, great film, this as well. Uh, again, I probably own the DVD. Now, this is probably ex rental one because it has a. Kind of a you know like a number written on the disc. But anyway, yeah. And last but not least, we have uh, Bridge. Now I don't know if this is you pronounce it Terabithia or Terabithia, but it's Bridge Terabithia. I'll call it that. Uh, really kind of emotional film. This if you haven't, if you haven't seen it, um, there's well not really a twist, but that's a player, kind of a story point in this that you will not see coming. Absolutely devastating, but really good film. Really good. So yeah, that's it. Like I said. I just want to do like a small kind of catch up video because otherwise I'll be, you know, I'll be, all the dates will be discombobulated and I won't, know, I won't know what I'm doing. So, yeah, I won't keep you for too much longer. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.